Next is posterior cerebral artery stroke that is a PCA. PCA mainly supplies your parietal lobes, temporal lobes, and occipital lobes. Posterior media is packs of a parietal lobes, inferior and medial part of a temporal lobe, and a medial and inferior surface of occipital lobe. First one is the sign is a visual field loss. What is the visual field? Visual field is the whole area a person can see. Like when there's a damage to the visual pathway, a person experiencing a visual loss. If the stroke causes the visual field loss, it will affect their both the eyes. Like if stroke has affected the right side of her brain and vision centers are affected in the right side, so visual will be lost of left in both the eyes. Same if the left side of her brain has affected the vision centers will be lost on right of both the eyes. Next is memory loss. Memory loss will be a short term. In ACA, memory loss occurs for the long term. But in PCA, short term memory loss occurs. So if you ask a patient about the recently events in his life, he will be unable to recall that events. Next is dizziness and vertigo. So dizziness and vertigo are always appear together in a stroke patient along with the nausea, vomiting and a balance problems. Like these both affect balance and the movement. So it mainly disturb your vestibular system. Evolve that causes the balance issues in a stroke patient. Another one is the nystigmus. Nystigmus is the involuntary eye movements. So when your eyes make repetitive movements or a shaking type of movements. Like this can lead to you reduced vision. Like when a person with a stroke move his eyes from side to side or from up to down, uncontrolled type of movements occur. Okay, there's a shaking type of movements. A patient cannot focus on one object or on a fixed point. Like they have an involuntary eye movement. That is nystigmus. Next is diplopia. Diplopia is a double vision. In stroke patient, different eye conditions develop. Like in MCA and ACA, different conditions develop due to their artery when the artery is blocked. But in PCA, what happens is a double vision. Like person sees everything double. This most commonly occurs with a ischemic stroke, like a transient ischemic stroke. In ischemic stroke, the chances of developing a double Vision increases. The nerves which involve the eye are affected, which leads to your diplopia. Next is a fever syndrome. Third nerve palsy. Third nerve palsy is a third cranial nerve palsy. Third cranial nerve is a oculomotor nerve. Oculomotor nerve controls your eye movement. It, it controls your eyelid you can raise eyelids through this nerve like you can move your eye inward downward upward up and out so it controls your major eye movement it supplies the medial rectus inferior rectus superior rectus inferior oblique so when this nerve oculomotor nerve is affected your eye movements are affected that is the weber syndrome next is dysphagia Dysphagia is a swallowing difficulty. In stroke patients, like in PCA stroke patients, swallowing disorders are commonly associated and which can lead to aspiration. Aspirations occur when food you swallow moves back in your airway or the lungs. That can lead to a complication. That may be a pneumonia. Like it can occur because there is a damage to your cortex brainstem or nerves are damaged or muscles are involved. So when dysphagia occurs in a stroke patient, pneumonia is the most common complication.